Hello there, my Zangili hoes. We're back at it with another Doctor Who reaction. Re remember when I said at the end of my Fugitive the Jadoon review that I was so hyped from to keep watching more? Yeah, the episode didn't record at all, so I had to go back and wait for my computer to, um, you know, re-record the entire episode so I can actually edit that into my reaction so you can see what I was looking at. But at least it gave me the opportunity to watch some more Matt Smith and David Tennant episodes. As I got lost in that rabbit hole, but, I mean, it's a good rabbit hole to be lost in. But, uh, enough talk. Really enjoyed last episode, like, a solid 10 out of 10. Even 24 hours later, I still think it was that good. And I'm really excited to see what the rest of the season has in store. I finally feel like there's an overarching story. So I'm trying to really pay attention to, like, subtle clues and dialogue. Like, the bees are disappearing or something like that. Um... But that's a Russell T. Davis, Davies thing, so I guess I'll have to wait until season 14, or I guess, yeah, is it 14? Yeah, 14 is the next season after uh, Jodie Whittaker's run ends. So, really excited, enough uh, wasting your guys' time. Your latest reaction to Doctor Who starts now. Bro, what the hell is going on? Anything you do say may seriously aggravate me. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> this is the most beautiful river in the world. Does it have the word song in it? Okay. There's like an Instagram versus reality. It's wrecked. Oh god, bro. Not fear of the raven, dude. They they are now treating Adam Lang as missing. He's having a very strong reaction to that. I'm assuming that's like his brother or friend. This got weird. You didn't hear the screaming? You slept right through the screaming. Don't touch it. Something's wrong with the birds. <laughs> Was I not just saying like the bees are disappearing and now there's something wrong with birds? That's funny. Bro, you only gave it like five seconds before you started. Come on, son, fish oh. down. Oh shit! Well, they found the astronaut, which means that uh, whoever was texting him, not Adam. On everything, I just messaged some contacts on Reddit to access emergency services. <laughs> in Reddit. Science. I do a lot of running. <laughs> That's funny. I'm I'm guessing that's right. actually really funny. What are you doing? I like how the companions are actually like sky. doing something. I like I'm this. Find out the reason. Right. Let's find the Riddler? Is that this the Diddler? Naval uniform. What's it? Oh. It's all right. You're safe. Oh, what's on his hand? No, I'm not. What's your name? Zagos. Oh, that's it not the astronaut. A captain tried to raise this. Damn. There's also a talking cat in Ontario, but I've ruled him out for now. <laughs> oh my god, that's what they were talking at the end of the last episode. What? Like a whole bunch of weird You're occurrences happening alien. on different continents. We're in safe quarantine. Do you want to find her or not? I don't know if it's worth getting COVID-22, man. Oh, it's her. She fears the raven. How did she get here that quick? Must have some teleportation oh, technology. Ooh, and she's gone. Of that wall. He's on the other side. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Fucking love, Graham. This dude is kicked down door, check, ask check, questions check. later. Oh. Adam? Not until we know what all this stuff is doing. Dude, astronaut suits and Doctor Who don't do not do well together. We've been in this room as long. Well, they came. That's what she said. Hesitation. Are you my mummy? Man, we got an astronaut suit and gas masks. All in one episode of Doctor Who. How's it? Same as the weapon. Bro, you gotta make an are, are you my mummy joke. Who are you? I'm the backup. Otherwise, massive missed opportunity. Like famous missing or an astronaut. astronaut. Suit. Um, comment. 
Yeah, you look it. She's having a tough time as well. Bro, she's got to be like, I'm not a fan of astronaut where? suits myself. Probably we don't have a good history. <laughs> Is it like um, an optical illusion? I really don't know. How do you not know? They said what it was like two episodes ago. When Tesla was like, the interdimensional space is different from the external interdimensional or external space, or dimensional. I don't know what he said, but but the document said okay, exactly. Because you know me for how many hours? So you really don't believe this thing travels? Excuse me, what? He knows how to pilot the TARDIS. Just was he not just in a different location? I mean, I know the TARDIS can travel. I feel stupid now for saying that. Like, oh, the doctor can instantly teleport? But, like, she was there without any, like... I kind of like that, though. Because that, like, you're seeing an external, like, point of view of how quickly the TARDIS can get to places. Oh, that's bad CGI. Uh-uh. It's a space and time ship, mate. Don't be stupid. Time in relative dimension and space. But I ain't a fantasist around here. I did say it hurt. No, you didn't. Well, I meant to. <laughs> it takes a blood sample for analysis. He's not the first person to die like that today. Same thing happened to a young woman in Peru. They're linked. I need to work out how. I like how fast, uh, how fast paced this episode so is. you two know each other how? But why here? Is Clara Oswald oh, nearby? That's why you smell a dead bird. I thought you'd change your shower gel. Doc! <laughs> Doc! Adam's in a... Well, that dude's dead. What's the matter with you people? Dude, I hate content creators like that. You don't recognize me? Dude, it would be the best day ever if someone recognized me. Oh, can I use your computer? Delete my browser history. <laughs> So does the sonic system. screwdriver use I a USB type C or a D? Very fast. Yes, I do. Does she plug it into skills. the computer? Or has it got Bluetooth? Uh, got that Gallifreyan Bluetooth up in here. Oh, he cooked. It's already in him. Is it bad if I don't know what pathogen is? I'm glad you asked that because I. How do you not know what a pathogen is? I didn't want to look stupid. Latching onto life. Gonna things. ask what a virus is next? And killing them. Without knowing where we going? Do you don't even know if you have a way yeah. back or if you could communicate with the doctor? You don't know how wide the Bluetooth the spectrum goes. Do you have any idea how hard it is being married to somebody that impressive? That's actually uh sort of sends I me like the this. other way. A wallowing being unreliable. It's a good scene. We're still alive. I mean, so far this episode's, uh, I want to say this episode's an 8 out of 10. For like a Doctor Who random episode. This is an 8 out of 10. So far. It could definitely, it could definitely go up or down, though. It looks Russian. Oh, that's the submarine. Doc, said that the birds are getting really angry out there. Oh, he didn't die. if this is what their insides are like. Take a look. For plastic. wires? Plastic in the birds, but there's no plastic in humans. Except. Microplastics. Oh, microfiltration. Yup. In the water. Everyone has microplastics. microplastics. Holy shit. Alien bacteria. Make me a doctor companion. Shit. Because humans are full of them. Excuse me, I'm not full of plastic. Yes, full you of are. Shit. I'm afraid you are, Graham. You're full it's of shit. It's <laughs> in your food. Yeah, I don't know why you're walking closer to the birds. If you die, this is on you, man. That's on you, bro. Hey, Doc, let's that is bird. Darwinism at its finest. Look. Maybe I would make a good doctor companion. Actually, no, screw that. Yes, I would, because I wouldn't be stupid enough to do See something like that. Natural enzymes are doing. Clear as mud. <laughs> so clever. But the other is in Madagascar, where you are right now. How would you know? Doctor. Doctor, did you hear what I said? Oh, shit. Yeah. They're the alien. Thanks, Shaz. Come on, Doctor. Just say, oh, damn. Like, oh, that was just... Never mind. They're just going through... Just full confrontation mode. What's happening? Relentless. And it knows you're onto it. 
Oh, I'm a sucker for a scientist. Where That's you on you, go? Doctor. Have they come? No. You could have snapped it open. Had it ready. Start the car, motherfucker! Start the car! How was the doctor not able to pull it off? Oh my god. Stay in here. We'll be as quick as we can. We locked it on Yaz's location. That'd be my guess. Be the most rational thing to do. Well, it looks like it's working. God, you look miserable. A long way below the Indian Ocean. Ah, oh, I thought the. Giant of plastic. Look like that for. Thought I discovered an alien planet on my own. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's fair. I'd be pretty disappointed too. Where? Th Surprised the pressure isn't messing them all up. Unless the tart. No, the tart just wasn't there yet. So. Yeah, there's definitely on a ship or something of some kind. But bro, trim those nails. Don't scratch me. Shit. The survivors were assigned to lab ships to find an antidote for the few of us left alive. Why couldn't you just say that You're to begin with? Too. This infection here deliberately. She did, so she could find out. A new antidote, which is why fantastic. she didn't tell me. It's saturated it. It's been happening. Your arm. You've been scratched by those birds. You've had a double dose of Praxius. But you showed oh. me how to find a cure. Got an OD on plastic. Stay here. It's crazy that if people just communicated with the doctor, everything would be fine and dandy. At least it'd be more fine and dandy. Get out of here. How would Like it just accelerated. I need a crew in here. Count those in. Oh, it worked. Dials on full clockwise. I said anti clockwise. Just testing. Organic fuel cells. You know, I would. I would be annoyed with the companions, like, automatically knowing how to pilot a spaceship, but they've spent two seasons, well, a season and a half with the doctor, and we don't know. How many intermission missions they've had no in between idea, episodes? So it makes well, sense the how they would know the different line. alien tech and technology. But these so motherfuckers, the astronaut and the husband, Gold no excuse there. The I'm just happy the, the companions have actually been helpful this episode. We'll be the they haven't been very helpful like this whole season, outside of a few moments. But. Then again, the main purpose of the companion is to keep the doctor in check, so I don't I won't complain. We don't need another Time Lord victorious. Holy shit, is she actually gonna get him? Dude. Doctor is a goaded pilot. What can I say? I'm a romantic. <laughs> yeah, you are after River Song. Ooh, I wonder what River Song would think of uh female doctor pretty good episode on initial viewing 8 out of 10 8 out of 10 there you all go there is my reaction to Paraxius I, I'm genuinely pretty pleased with the episode that this is a solid 8 out of 10 episode for me um again it's hard to rate episodes and I really don't like when people rate things on a general scale like for for example I think Oppenheimer is a 10 out of 10 but I also think last episode of Doctor Who is a 10 out of 10 I would argue that Oppenheimer overall is a much better watch cinematically than Doctor Who in almost every way possible but I enjoyed it for what it is for the story it's trying to tell for the characters it's trying to convey so that 10 out of 10 is a different scale from Oppenheimer being a 10 out of 10 for me or for um, I don't know, the day of the doctor being a 10 out of 10. They're 10 out of 10s for two different reasons. For watching this episode, knowing it's like a one-off episode, it's an episode that's very contained. I thought that the mystery, the fast pacing, the fact that we jumped in and you know, the companions are doing their shit. And I like that the doctor was already on on uh, on the job. I like that even the side characters introduced here, outside of a, like one or two of them, were 
really compelling. I, I also think some of the characters were really stupid. Like that one dude who just ran out on the beach. Oh, yeah, the birds are angry. I'm going to go run towards them. Oh, fuck, they're angry. I'm going to run back. Like, what, th what did you think was going to happen? So there's just a few moments like that that really annoy me. They're like... They're so poorly written, they're only there for the sake of plot, and I hate that. That really bothers me. I think it's lazy writing. I think there's a much better way. Like, there was a crow behind him! The, pro the crow could have just backsmacked him or some shit or assassinated him like it's a game of Halo. But, I, I don't know, I think there's much better ways of doing stupid things like that to further the plot. Um, instead of making the characters stupid, make them unlucky. That is the biggest writing advice I can give as someone who's an audience member who loves to write, who notices those things. An audience member is much less likely to nitpick if a character is unlucky rather than stupid. It's why I hate horror movies. Horror movies are awful because they're so cliche, they rely on the same tropes, and again, I don't want to stereotype horror movies because I haven't seen things like Midsummer or a lot of the, was it Peele movies, uh, Jordan Peele? Is that his name? I haven't seen a lot of those movies, but I have seen movies like Blair Witch. I think it's very unique from other horror movies I've seen. I just think it stands out because it's unique and characters are just unlucky instead of stupid. They went out thinking like, oh, there's a witch here. Pfft. You know, I would do the same thing. There's no witch here. That's stupid. There was actually a witch. That's unlucky. So, you know, better lucky than good. But in this case, better unlucky than stupid. Someone put that on a goddamn plaque. I'm proud of that quote. And I really hope that's not like taken but thank you all so much for watching this episode of doctor who with me i'm very excited i'm gonna jump into the next one I'm, i damn well made sure this this thing recorded properly so uh next reaction is going to come out a few days after this one but i did watch them back to back i'm i was told that the last three episodes are tied into the timeless children finale which is a godsend it is like Oh, I love that so much. Just like in the um, what, like the season, season three finale with Utopia. Utopia was so freaking cool. Like such a cool twist when I watched that the first time. Um, and then you had uh, what? I, I forgot the two episodes after that. Like the last of the Time Lords. And there was another one before that. Thank you all so much for watching. I'm jumping into the next one. I'll see you all there. Subscribe to Zang Helios for some more unfreaking believable content.